On this episode of Free Pilot Training, we're going to be talking about how to calculate load factor. Since you might see some questions relating to this on your FAA written exam, remember we measure load factor by g-forces. This is simply gravity or our weight multiplied. On the test, they may want you to show how bank angle and load factor correlate. Then they'll show you a chart like this. Don't be intimidated by this, it's really quite simple. The first question you might see is, what is your load factor if you make a 30 degree turn in your airplane? By the way, the lines on the test should be way more obvious than in this video. We'll start this by drawing a line up from our 30 degree mark. Then we'll move over to our load factor scale. I'm getting about 1.2 G's here. And that's our answer on this one. It's as simple as that. Here's another one. What is your total load with an airplane that weighs 1,475 pounds in a 45 degree bank turn? Let's start with our 45 degree bank angle and run the chart the same way. This time I'm getting 1.5 G's, but that's not the question they're asking this time. They want you to find your total load. This is super simple to do. All you have to do is multiply your weight times your load factor. In this case, we've got 1,475 pounds times 1.5 G's. That gives us a total load of 2,212.5 pounds. Let's look at the same problem with an airplane weighing 3,800 pounds in a 60 degree bank turn. We'll run our line up from the 60 here, then back over, and it looks like I've got about 2 G's. Don't worry, the chart on the test should be much better. Once again, for this problem, we'll use weight times load, which is 3,800 times 2. So for this problem, we have a total load of 7,600 pounds. Let's look at a couple more things real quick. If you bank your aircraft to 60 degrees, by what percentage will your stall speed increase? Again, for this chart, we'll start with our 60 degrees of bank. We'll move up to our stall speed increase mark, then over to our percentage. Looks like about 42%. So if we have a stall speed of 40 knots, then that 42% would be 16.8. Now our airplane will stall at 56.8 knots, and that could really catch you off guard. And that's just another reason why we don't want to overbank the airplane. That higher bank will lead to a higher load, which will lead to a higher stall speed. Be sure to check out the Pilot's Handbook of Aeronautical Knowledge so you can practice running these charts for yourself. Once again, get your free digital copy from the FAA's website or a cheap paperback copy from my links below. You won't find better study material on your road to becoming a pilot.